If you're like me, you like to check your mixes in your car. And there's something I recently discovered that was throwing me off a lot of times when I was checking in my car. And I figure since some people may still have older cars that they check their music in. And um, I recommend using a cable if you have an MP3 player. Uh, that was my battery low indicator. But I use my GPS because I don't have a regular MP3 player. I can also use my cell phone. Either way, I use a cassette adapter because I don't have an auxiliary input on this car. And what I, the way you do it is, I know this is basic stuff, but just so people know, um, you plug this eighth inch cable into the side here. And this also has an FM transmitter, but I don't trust it. Um, it has a lower quality even than this. And then you stick the cassette in like so. Now, what threw me was I would listen to my tracks in here and it would sound a little bit muffled. And I'm like, that's so weird. Like, I, I know I have enough treble on my mixes. Now, of course, your, your car stereo speakers are gonna sound different, but what happened was, I and I didn't find out about it and didn't even think about it until I was re reading the car manual. Dolby noise reduction, and I'm sure everybody's heard of Dolby before because it's the main way of, the main encoding method, encoding format for DVDs and Blu-rays. Dolby noise reduction was something that a lot of cassette tapes had built into it because audio cassettes were quite noisy. Well, the problem is if you use a cassette adapter and have that noise reduction on, which by default, mine's turned on. Every time I insert a new, new cassette, it turns back on. On this screen, it says NR for noise reduction. And when I was like, hey, I wonder what would happen if I turned it off while the adapter's in. Sure enough, turned it off, what happens? Here comes my treble. Um, perfectly fine, you know, adapters are not noisy like cassettes, well, they're, they're noisy mechanically, but not noisy on the actual tape, because there is no tape. It's just a straight signal going from a cable to a converter going into the tape head. And like magic, all my tracks, again, had the high end back, the treble was back, and I have a more accurate representation of what my car system sounds like playing back. And uh, this isn't just a tip for checking out mixes, but this is also a tip for when you're just enjoying yourself listening to music with your MP3 player. Again, I don't recommend using the FM transmitter. Number one, it eats up battery, but number two, the audio quality is reduced and a $10 cassette adapter that you can get from Walmart or whatever. Mine came with my Sony CD player that I got when I was a kid, um, but it still works just the, the same day that I got it. Um, I highly recommend that option if you don't have an auxiliary input, but you do have a cassette adapter. Again, Dolby noise reduction off, high end back. Yes, indeedly doodly. This has been Adam for <laughs> recording.com.